My mother loves it when my father gives her flowers for her birthday. I'm pretty sure she would still be happy if he got her flowers twice during the year. With this logic, why shouldn't my father just give my mother flowers every day? Like most people, my mother probably wouldn't find the 365th bouquet of flowers quite as enjoyable as the first bouquet my father buys. Most people are already familiar with the concept of diminishing marginal utility, which is the observation that each additional unit of a product consumed will yield progressively smaller increases in utility. More generally, an item exhibits diminishing marginal utility when marginal utility decreases as the quantity of the good consumed increases. Put another way, a good exhibits diminishing marginal utility when each additional unit of a good does not provide as much happiness as the one before. Consumer behavior changes based on diminishing marginal utility and will thus impact the number of products sold. If we wanted to look at marginal utility graphically, we would represent it by a downward sloping marginal utility curve. When my mother receives the first bouquet of flowers, it provides a high level of initial utility, but for each additional bouquet my father buys her, the marginal utility decreases because my mother does not have the need or desire for a large quantity of flowers. Her total utility is increasing, but each bouquet of flowers is adding smaller and smaller amounts of utils to her total utility. We could say that her total utility is increasing at a decreasing rate. The decreasing rate is the marginal utility portion of total utility. Economists believe that most, if not nearly all goods, exhibit diminishing marginal utility. This is because most goods would lead to some form of satiation. More simply, consumers appreciate goods less when they are less scarce and tend to devalue items that are readily available.